Hey, what's up? We're Cobra Starship, and uh, we are from New York, by way of Florida. And by way of Uruguay. And we're just a bunch of dudes that came together um, with a common love of electronic music and a common um, urge to dumb it down and sell it to 15-year-old girls. We, we formed in uh, uh, 2006. Uh, Gabe had these songs that he brought to me, and I was like, no way. <laughs> And then he offered me a considerable amount of money. And uh, no, I'm, kidding, I'm just kidding, that's not how it went down. But actually, Gabe had been working on these demos for about a year, and he played them for me and my friend Alex. Um, I did offer you a considerable amount of money. No, you didn't offer Yeah, me. and you were like, no, fuck that, I want equity. No, no, no. <laughs> it was basically just like, you know, we, we've been touring now for like two and a half years uh, um, with this um, kind of like a, you know, electronic pop fusion kind of thing, you know, and we take all of our influences which go from like, you know, French house to um, DC hardcore and, you know, it's a, it's a, a big stew of all of those things and we've, uh, we've, had a, we've had a good couple of years. It's been good. We've been touring around the world. We got to go to Japan. Yeah, and uh, we're here in the studio right now working on our third uh, studio record. I started experimenting with Reason a few years ago and um, just I was in a rock band and I just kind of wanted to expand what we were doing and that's how I really started getting into electronic music. Um, and I was just messing with it, and when Ryland joined the band, I, I showed it to him, and um, we wanted to take a different approach to songwriting as opposed to, you know, we all come from rock band backgrounds, so instead of starting just with, you know, a guitar and bringing the band in, we wanted to start with an electronic platform and build from there. And uh, that just gave us so much more freedom to do so many things, and Reason was really the catalyst for all that for us. So. Um, Right now, Ryan, why don't we go look at um, one of the latest tracks we've been working on. Yeah. Reason. Okay, cool. Let's check out this inside. track right here started with, with um, Ryan was just jamming on a part. And um, I think it's still only Reason. Do we have any other instrumentation which says Reason? Just Reason. Only Reason on the track right now. All right. So um, here we are with one of the latest songs we've been working on. And uh, Ryan wrote this not too long ago, right? No, not too long ago. So... Um, you started out, you just had an idea for, for a, a bass line or something in your head? Yeah. And so, so what'd you do? Well, this is um, pretty early on in my uh, Reason experience. Uh, I was just exploring a lot of the factory patches, and one of the ones that I found, which is in the Thor polysonic synthesizer, is the Talkbox bass. And I just, um, just love the way it sounds. And I just had this riff that went... Sound is great by itself, so I didn't even want to. I didn't want to mess. So that's with it. a reason sound, right? In that is a reason. It factory. comes with the program. It comes with the program. You can buy it today, <laughs> and, uh, and and make this sound in your bedroom all day long. So in this case, I use. Okay, that. let's just say let's just say we want to get a little crazy. You want to mess with the sound a little bit. Can yeah. You, can you show me like how you can change the sound with all that crazy stuff? Yeah, sure. What, how do I mean, you get back? How do you get back to all that crazy stuff you to these had? parameters Whoa. over here? Yeah. So here we go. Frequency and resonance are a couple of really simple parameters, basically. From someone who is an idiot like me, frequency sounds like a mouth opening. So when it's all the way down, it's like that. And when you go like that, it's all the way open. So somewhere in there, you're able to choose the sound that you want. Resonance, again, I don't know what it really is, but what it, it sounds like to me is just a whole bunch of weird space noise. So when it's all the way up, again, it, it's, uh, you know? Heck if I know, but, uh, <laughs> but it's, uh, and then we have master volume, which even I could figure that one out. <laughs> go. So we've got this great little sound happening here, but we want to put a beat over it. Yo, how'd you record that before the beat? Do you need to, like, does it have a metronome or something in there? It does have a metronome. What, what you can do is go down here and click the click function. Um, oh, so there's the click. Get your metronome going, yeah. To help you stay on time, that's what I did. And, uh, the way we made a beat in this song was by going here and loading the redrum drum computer. And, uh, and then right here is our redrum, and uh, we have all of a, each of these is an individual sample. Okay, so, so let me stop one second. So yeah. the redrum, this is a drum machine basically, right? Uh, essentially, yeah. I've never seen a real drum machine, only a here. Neither have I. I, I assume they all look like this. Of course. Yeah. So, they must. So basically, they all have. Each, you want to get real wild? Yeah, let me get real wild. Whoa! What? Okay, I don't even go there. Sometimes when I just want to thrill, I press tab to see how all this stuff is really patched. This is how it's all actually patched. So if you actually wanted to learn how to use analog stuff, I guess you could do it this way. But 
That's terrifying. So Can you turn the fan on to cool the, the fans the, on right now? Okay. If you want me to turn it off, let's leave it on. Let's leave it on. Because this is a hot track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and so, so each of these, each each of these, these is an individual sample, right? So right here, I have my kick. I have another kick. Another kick. Just because I'm, you know, I'm kicking and screaming. And then I got my favorite snare drum, which is a Reason uh, factory sound called uh, SD2 underscore Vintage. Bam! It's got a great okay, sound. Okay, so here you're using. This is a reason sound, but this one that has a KW before it, what does that stand for? It stands for Kanye West. Okay. And, um, so does Kanye West have reason sounds? Uh, maybe, but he just emailed me these, and I was like, I'll put them on one of our songs, I so guess. So how do you do that? Okay, like, okay, I know you can load up over here. If you click here, you can load up you know, a drum set from reason. True, you could load an entire kit, or in this uh, case, say I really like this kit, I could save it right here as my own um, drum patch and, and load it all the time. So we have our kicks, we have our snare, we have uh, a hi-hat. We have sort of a snare clap thing. We have a clap. Again, another Reason uh, factory sample called CLP underscore congas. And another hi-hat. And then a sort of Neptunes-esque shaker. Uh, and so then, now that we have all of our sounds chosen, we go over here and we create a new clip by either clicking the W key or just drawing one like this by choosing it. And uh, we already have this one made. So then what we did is we jumped into our mapping mode by double-clicking the clip. And then here we have all of these same samples right here. Okay, and then um, since this is all mapped into the BPM that I'm working in, I can just fly that stuff there. <laughs> but you guys already know that. So <laughs> right okay, now so we have... You, when you're in that mode and that, yeah. that map, that's where you write it in with the pencil. Correct, yeah. Um, and in this case, I have um, this great snap to magnetic function right here to where if I click something, it's just going to jump right where it's supposed to be. So we've got these two elements now. We've got our beat, and we've got our bass line. Great, and so then from there, I just kind of, um, instrument by instrument, you know, chose some patches that would sound good with this and, and worked out what the chord changes would be. You know, the first thing I added was, I think this is one of the Rhodes uh, patches uh, for the NN19. We've got keys, more keys, and then I did a little bass line. This one I used um, the Subtractor, which is another great instrument. Um, has a lot of really good bass sounds. I found this one, it's just a bass guitar emulator. Um, so that's where we got that sound. And, uh, and then, there we go. And then I did, uh, I, I have to, bam, just like that. Then you got a song, but I have to point out one of my favorite patches. The Mound of Wires. This is probably my favorite patch in Reason. Um, it's just got such a funky, wide, beefy, synthy sound. And if you um, put it way up in the piano roll, you can go up a couple octaves. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty good uh, lead, too. So we do, we do a lot of things with that patch. Um, that's, the bare, that's the bones of it right there. And then from there, I threw in a little harpsichord, um, which is another great uh, NN19 patch. Uh, Thor also has a couple of great analog lead patches, which I used here um, for this part. That's our song. Five. All right, so that's a very sort of fundamental look at one of our sessions uh, as we are still beginners at this program too, so hopefully you learned a, a little bit of entry level knowledge as to how we uh, program some of our songs. And just shows you that it, reason is so easy that anyone can do it, yeah, we but yet if you really want to go deep, you can get in there. You can go way in there. We've been Cobra Starship, we'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>